All right, VOD review time. So, uh, <laughs> I think we're both just doing our sets versus Dre, and it's just us this week. Yeah. So. Hi, Dre, if you watch this. I don't know if you will. <laughs> okay, what are your uh, pre-VOD analysis thoughts? Uh, I think my item interactions were not as good as two weeks ago. And I don't think I was converting right into looping back turn scenarios. I was like going to neutral too much or going to front stance, which is a lot more vulnerable. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I just wasn't, I don't think I was navigating neutral as well, or uh, I wasn't adapting to what Dre was doing. So yeah, I guess we're looking at how I approach, how I interact with items and when I'm how I'm finishing my combos. I can spell, I swear. Bro, I don't fucking know how to spell approach. Okay. All right. <clears throat> you have the doc up too, right? So I'll let you go ahead and just grab one of the raw notes section. If you see anything, go ahead and just jot it down. But yeah. This. All right. I'm gonna have to make my seat higher so I can type. <laughs> Mankind new. Diamond Mew could not type right now. Yes. Also, I'm just mostly gonna just like let this rock until one of us sees something that we want to stop on. Um, on that note, though, real yeah. quick, where was this dude? Where did he come from? Ah, okay. There, I mean, he yeah, just threw him on top, but mm -hmm. like. Yeah, DP there's like an interesting choice because if your move connects he still bails out but also if he blocks it and he's not ready then the minion will like ruin the combo uh, however he blocked yeah, well, it and was ready <laughs> well it basically it stops him from doing charge 5d punish he gets he has to do 5k 6h or something like that mm -hmm. or like he can't do stuff that would put me into a, a terribly bad position, other than sending me full screen with some damage. Mm -hmm. I think, I, uh, I honestly, I think Dre probably could have done, like, the close slash route here, which now does do, like, real damage, <laughs> but Like, close slash sure. mix, close slash mix or something? Yeah, or, like, close slash 6H mix, whatever. I don't know Foster yeah. routes. I just know that sometimes he gets a close slash, and I'm like, wow, that did way more. <laughs> yeah. I dashed him because I think I'm wary of 2H. I should have hit that bomb. I wasn't sure how much time I had. Yeah, I I was kind of in the same boat watching, so, like, I get you. Ah, uh, that was a terrible Ooh. fucking decision. Holy shit. The, I did not look for his burst. Yeah, I... Like, to be fair, I was not really expecting a burst here either because like what's the situation yeah, you do throw no i think the i think the burst okay. there is probably fine yeah i agree um because he's not specifically looking to burst me into the corner but just putting me full screen i think there's a banana under there somewhere uh and he has 50 meters so you can still do stuff you can like threaten stuff uh and i just for like i just forgot to uh mm -hmm look at his burst which i should know he has because he didn't fucking burst in that was an accidental backdash too yeah yeah I... I think he could have killed me he stopped my throw attempt <laughs> also Wait. that fucking throw because it pushed me oh into my god yeah hold up yeah i wasn't ready for that he's like there oh I, it I was behind you so it, if you didn't yeah. have the Tron skin, this would be literally invisible. <laughs> yeah, but also it's like that bomb I couldn't do anything about because I'm like, now my buttons will hit it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to backdash and then try to hit it because I'm not going to be able to or he could stop me. Yeah, DP. Oh my god, he <laughs> still he had, had to, to block, block it that? Still. Also, shoutouts to your <laughs> yeah. 2k. Oh, I just missed time that throw. I think it would have hit and I probably would have won the round. Can I, so, Good. real quick, can we talk about 
you dodging these fucking jump dusts, by the way? Like... Uh... One, <laughs> you die to this. <laughs> DP through the fucking guy. Two? Oh, he did it too high. What is it? Was that another? You flickered crouch. <laughs> oh, Literally a frame. <laughs> it just sucked the overheads. I don't know. Fuck. I, I literally don't know why. It <laughs> oh, yeah. You tried to do the greedy punish, huh? Dash 5k. Yeah. I, I think I just did 2k 2d there. I, no, I have um, 50 meter. I. Okay. I, yeah, I guess you can do VRC stuff, but this is specifically minus 10, and this is universal, so it's like one of those things that it's like you learn once and know from there. So you can dash 5k it if you can dash for a single frame into 5k. I, if I, so the thing is, I have 50 meter there. I should always just do 5k, 6k, S dash RC or 2k, 2d RC. Mm -hmm. I think I get this round still. Yeah, I'm actually gonna... I can't remember. I didn't burst during this round at all, but I don't know if I had good opportunities to. Oh, I wasn't ready to convert there either. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't react. Fool, what the fuck was that burst, my guy? What what happened? I like looked back to see the burst. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Uh it's like this. I thought he oh. was gonna like actually combo off of it, but yeah. Honestly, this I think is just this is one of two things. This is either Dre just being like galaxy brain and just being like, yeah, here comes a burst or a reversal. I'm going to back off, uh, and yeah. or recognizing that he got OTG because like at first I thought he could have comboed off this, but that was the like OTG roll state. I'm pretty sure. So this is yeah, just yeah, him being like, I keep me away from the DP. I do not want to be monkeyed. Yeah, I I don't know how to stagger out of that shit. Stagger mash. Okay, so I will tell you how. I don't do it either. It is literally piano. Okay. You you just I'll just, I'll just hit my dash RC input. <laughs> you can. It so it's you have to hit a certain timing, but uh, pressing other buttons does not lock you out. So you just like mash real hard or piano or whatever, and you'll get the gold timing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not too broken up about that one. Mm -hmm. Lock that. Dash more. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> I... <laughs> like good counterplay to the yeah. wait, but like the situation afterwards still wasn't amazing. Yeah. Also, that crossed me up. Wait, did you same side block? Oh, because you were in block stun from the meteors, but the... Oh, and then you probably swapped like, it I... down back. Okay. Yeah, but to jump 2k is not an overhead, so... Oh. Yeah, like... I... Right? It's a mid, right? I... Let's check. Like, I should know this for sure. Okay, yeah, it's a mid. Yeah. So I just, like, I don't know, got crossed up. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I dash blocked into the 2H. Mm -hmm. uh, did Locked you, there. uh, did you dash stand block? Is that what um, happened? Um, I just didn't swap to down back fast enough. Okay. Yeah, because I was going to say... I didn't stand block either. Was the intention like, here I'm not... to bait out a 2H? Uh, to be honest, most of my approaches are I'm going to get closer to make him press buttons. Fair. Uh, I was asking because you did the, uh, the armor stance approach, which loses to low, so you are being like, ooh, hey, come hit me, come hit me, hit me low. I'm gonna walk yeah, at you. Yeah, well, I mean... So I was, like, expecting I, you to, like, IAD or just call something out here. And, like, I know that this one in particular was just, like, an execution thing, didn't get to down back in time on the dash block, but... Um... I think if I recognize the situation better, I probably would have ID'd because I see him throw an item. He sees me in armor stance. 
So he's like, okay, I want to stop that. Mm -hmm. I ID over, potentially over an item. I guess I'd have to recognize the item first. Uh, he's baiting my DP there. Well, I know you can that you can make that an actual safe jump, but okay, I know he's baiting he, my DP. Yeah. Well, he he landed the frame before it was active. Is what happened here. Because this yeah. should this is supposed to just be a safe jump that sets the afro. But also, I mean, hey, like good Act fuzzy mash. Assuming that was a fuzzy it was mash. A fuzzy throw. You can mash throw. Yeah, I do SDP there, so I don't get punished as hard. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't... What? Actually... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, What was that? Scarecrow, right? Oh, what is Scarecrow? Yeah. Oh, it's just called Scarecrow. Sick. This is minus eight, huh? Okay. Uh... Yes, yeah, so that's unpunishable for me. Yes. Well, hey, up Scarecrow's minus 32, so, you know. Okay, well, uh, if eight. if he's doing up Crow, he has RC. That, or he has fucking Meteors or some bullshit. Yo, I forgot he can charge it. I'm sorry, charge Scarecrow is plus seven? Uh, I, it probably gives you a lot more time to react. Oh, I'm, I'm sure, but, like, I just didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> Same. <laughs> oh, I should have already see that combo, I think. I should have hit D. You thought, uh, I thought I had more time. You thought that the meteors would track you here, huh? I thought they would be over there, and I thought I had more time. But, uh, yeah, because if I hit D Moments here, I think I disaster. literally just... I think I unblockable him if I hit D. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. You probably that, at least route? survive. No. I, well, no, I think I just get counter hit. I hit D. If I hit D and it doesn't unblockable him, I get counter hit. Uh, well, no, because when you catch something, you're invincible for the rest of the action. So as long as you can time your mash Ds, then you're fine. Yeah, that's true. Like how you deal with Calvados if you're in back turn, right? Well, yeah, so here's the thing. I, I usually lose that mashing war. <laughs> okay, fair. Yeah, I mean, he's done that a couple times, but I just take the L on those. Wait, I could... Wait, what? Why didn't oh. Banana trip me? Um, is that because I was already hit stun? Or block stun? Where is it? I think you might have just run through it, like, a frame before it was active or something. Well, no, like, when he uh, pushes yeah. me into it. Because here... Oh, okay, yeah. I block, and I get pushed into it, and I don't get tripped. Uh, it's not unblockable. It just, if oh, it what? hits you, you oh, slip. Okay, I... See, I'm learning all about all these new items he has. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me just double check that it's not like a low, but I'm pretty sure it's just a mid, yeah. Okay, because I've definitely tried to dash block into it, which sounds like a terrible idea. Yeah, no, that, that probably is like... is. No, that's fine. That... It's like what you do, it gets rid of it. Real quick, I, I'm did so the mad. counter hit here fuck up you holding armor? Uh, uh kind of. Like, did it slow Not you really. for so long you couldn't get armor while the hammer was no, moving because, at normal speed? Uh, if you, like, go a few frames, it says counter hit, I hit another button. Okay. So here, I think the counter hit gave me, oh, I can confirm, hit H, and then my H got counter hit, because I'm like, hmm, hammer, what's that? So. <laughs> the wrong part of it hit you. <laughs> yeah, I think if I just hold armor there, I just armor it, it'll mm -hmm. be fine. But, I mean, that's hard to recognize in the moment. Mm, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, what? This whole situation over here is odd. You do turbulence, and you just take the knockdown here, which is, like, probably fine. Like, what are you gonna do? Give him extra meter? <laughs> um... I will say I would be very scared in this situation of super PRC. Oh, yeah, super. Which, like, he didn't do, but... Well, it, I'm pretty sure if he does super PRC, I, I either just do KK 
Like, if, if it's super PRC, KK beats it, I think. And if not, if it just does super, K D beats it. Mm -hmm. But I kind of have to choose before I, I see. And I also, I guess he has, he has 100 meters, so he can just do super and then PRC after flash, too. <laughs> like, confirm the situation if you wanted to. But, yeah. Anyways. I, sh I shouldn't have done turbulence there. On, uh, here? Here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah no, just I just take let... the overhead knockdown. Also, I wasn't trying to hit him with that turbulence. Let's see. But... What do you think about the RC use here? RC up. I think like... if I just refuse to break the wall, it is fine. But since I broke the wall, it's kind of bad. It's like on here, <gasps> I either RC and break the wall or RC and don't break the wall for like as long as possible. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah, that's what I was gonna say, is because, like, this is a matchup where Foss, like, does have good neutral. It's certainly not to the same extent as, like, Axel or Happy Chaos or someone. This is definitely the sort of matchup where, like, if you wall break without super, um, something has probably gone wrong. Unless you're just very confident in out-neutraling them, but that's, like, less of a matchup thing and more of a player call-out type deal. Yeah. I actually didn't want to hit him with turbulence, I think. Okay. Because I use the RC to get into back turn, but get the RC hard knockdown for a stronger mix. Mm -hmm. But that's not exactly stronger. But now I'm just sort of chilling. I I am so used to you doing the low option that I'm not ready to block high. <laughs> yeah, I've started doing the high again too. Yeah. I'm so tr that is such a tragic 2K, and that back. We actually watch it because we were just like bullshitting through this whole part here. So let me rewatch it. <laughs> Did I just do a rando tur- uh, uh, Yeah, he didn't punish me. That- yeah, he didn't punish you, but like... This I is mean, you get 2P. I mean, act you just 2P RC and get your turn back, right? It's, uh, I mean, yeah, that's like the easy one. His 5k also just like hits you now. Oh, right. I, well, yeah, but, like, what else are you doing after 5k? Uh, I mean, like, also RC, 5K uh, 5k 2D, toss, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. But I, I think he tried to close slash, I'm assuming. Also, if I'm gambling there, I am I should be gambling with heavy DP, not SDP. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This... Do I block the overhead? I block it, right? Nope. Oh. I'm dumb. You tried to crouch it again. I tried to DP it, actually. Also, <laughs> oh my god, that fucking 2k missed. And that was a dash block. Yeah, so let's see. The 2k... Was this I just... Think it's because... It's because he crawled back, I think huh? The... Well, the BRC missed him, right? Uh... I think so. That or he like I framed the BRC. Does that I think work? It still affects you. But yeah, I think, I um, think, I think you were understand. just out of range. I'm pretty sure I remember seeing a someone did like a breakdown of grand finals of some tournament like several months ago. Uh, that the like final interaction came down to a BRC uh, whiffing or like something that basically decided the set, <laughs> um, and it yeah. was. Oh no, that's what it was. It was a uh, BRC got counter hit by Stun Dipper because Stun Dipper yeah. hits on frame five, but to make BRC actually hit your opponent from round start, um, I you like have to do, or maybe it's like catch back dash or something, but you have to do one frame dash into BRC, which makes it one frame slower than when a uh, Stun Dipper hits. <laughs> yeah. So it was just like some crazy specific thing. But yeah, I think it's just like you have to put a tiny little pixel of dash. Yeah, RIP dash block. Yeah, because I, I think I tried to dash block, got tagged by the jump normal, and then accidentally somehow got back dash afterwards. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what back dashing that does. <laughs> Can we talk about how the back dash didn't catch? Yeah, but also like that just makes me more plus. I don't, I don't know why you would do that. It also would probably lose. 
Yeah, I don't know. He just kind of yeah, like got away with murder there. Is what really happened? I, I, I wasn't able to catch that uh, back dash because I was trying to tick throw him. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't ready to convert. Oh, that should have been a different combo. Which back one? Dash that. Okay. Uh, this one this... where I hit him. Oh, I wasn't expecting. Yeah, you weren't expecting air right. hit. Yeah. yeah. So that's like fine. Wait, no, I'm fucking dumb. Why am I not doing close slash 2S? Because I, I did close slash 5H, which is not something. Like, it's like something you can do, but like close slash 2S is more stable and like catches more things. Oh. Okay. So I think you were actually right here, because like last time you didn't get the punish, and so this time you went to. But like. Do you see yeah, the, the fucking... fucking guy? Sorry, let me. Do you see the minion? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, if you back up, like, when he fucking threw all the items, like, <laughs> how the hell am I supposed to remember? Like, I didn't okay, even so see the there's... fucking thing. Yeah, you Covered see it by immediately, see and trumpet. then, yeah, it's, like, not the part of the screen you're looking at. <laughs> yeah. I, how? That, how that, minus that, that is my... That is a 30 frame gap. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. 6 eight just oh fuck. I almost unblockable him. That 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 is fake as fuck. He let me get away with it because mm -hmm. scrambling, but I mean that I think it is important to have at least one or two like round ender tricks that just like you don't use unless you are like I need a hit. I'm just gonna throw something well, it, at them that they've never seen before well, or they I mean, just aren't ready here's for. The thing, right? It's like sure, but two D to turn to a back turn just never works anymore. If I try to do that, it's throwable one hundred percent. Unless I immediately run away, mm. block that, do that. Yeah, he hits me for that. Yeah, I get super there. I think that was fine. Yeah, I'd say so. Cause like you get the knockdown and stuff here. My very okay. good safe jump. Okay, yeah. Eight. I was gonna say, like, there, it's one thing to be like, alright, try and do something wonky to dodge Super PRC, but, like, he got airborne. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. I'm, it's fake anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Was this 6H on purpose? Oh, yeah. Okay, I okay. did the 6H on purpose. I did expect it to hit, so I 2S immediately to just, like, frame trap. Tight frame trap. Mm hmm but then he got hit. Wait, right. Oh, missed. Hold, hold up. Hold the fuck up. Leo King Gatling 6H into 2 uh... yeah. I hate this character. What, what do you. <laughs> Bro, all of his H and almost go into all of I his I thought it was normal. like just uh, 5H and 2H. Why does he break the Gatling rules that hard? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, yeah, okay. Saw the spirit anyway. throw. Yeah, I should. I, I, yeah, I just. <laughs> I'm like. I, I literally have to FD, which means I have to react while I'm off the block mm -hmm. band. I'm just like, well. What was, let's see, so the situation leading up, though. Um, so let's see, yeah, get bursted. Okay, burst. Dash block. He just fucking does it again. <laughs> yeah, and I expected, like, a faster button, so like mm -hmm. 6p earlier. I burst there to put him in the corner, yeah. I think that this was the critical mistake. Um, uh, I think normally what I would do is like, so normally when I hit a burst that doesn't put into the corner, I do H, H project. Yeah. It's really safe. But, but specifically, close, I, I piloted it. Yeah. I should have done, I, I think, wait, no, I think I tried to do H PRC, but got the PRC got counter hit. Oh, gotcha. Cause I did it there. Yeah, and I just like... guessed wrong on the 50-50, had to guess for game. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like, in my head, I'm just like, okay, we both know the cross-up is the one that hits, so I'm, I'm not going to block it. And then he did it, and I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Punish. Yep. I get 2k. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> okay, so like... Real quick, hey Dre, if you're watching this, if you just like clean up 
the heights and timings that you're using Jump D at, you will, like, get a lot further. I don't think you, like, like, please just go practice the snip, snip, snip into Jump Dust Safe Jump and just, like, do it a lot. <laughs> it's, like, whiffed three times now. And I, I, like, been... I, I like, didn't know what to do. Oh, I, I... <laughs> Quote, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> This fucking monkey scenario. <laughs> Mario Party begins. I don't know why. I did that that is a that, that is like a ballsy it, mash. Respect but call out. It, it good, yeah. It was a good one. Can I guess Leo probably can. I was gonna say, can you even uh Okay, so real quick. You tried to 5H what? here, that's what I was talking about before. Or uh, 6P 5H. Oh, so shout out to the spacing. Yeah, it, but I don't know if that works. I'd say just like check it. I mean, for the most this. part, trying to do that. Oh. This is a. Uh, I guess. Yeah, I should probably hit Fine if you didn't recognize that bomb was starting, but the reward difference on air throw versus close slash or 2H or turbulence or whatever. Okay, yeah, you probably like just didn't recognize it in time. Because I, I like did it pretty fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if yeah, you, like, didn't I mean, see I guess, the animation. I think I was also afraid of a trading. That's fair. I, 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 hit a, I hit them with RC, so, like, I don't know. I just didn't recognize it fast enough. Mm -hmm. uh, real quick, Dre is about to do something here that I finally started giving a name to yesterday, because, like we were talking about before the VOD review, um, I was watching it, or I was, like, playing yesterday and feeling my brain shrink while watching myself play uh so dre gets hit by what i'm going to call a gimme here i'm gonna try real yeah, hard not to get hit by these anymore why did you get hit here what the literally <laughs> why uh, so the actual answer is i guess if you're late then throw connects at this range yeah because if you see it says counter hit so i think he's mm -hmm. trying to throw to be fair i might have tried to challenge that too but you have a DP. I have a DP. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a DP. <laughs> Alright, anyway, what's the... Sorry, what's the situation after the gimme, though? Because, yeah, he uses burst. I'm, I'm fucking dead. He has oh. more meter and... Oh, yeah, I just get hit by that. Yeah. Yep, that just happens sometimes. Like, on the one hand, obviously it's good to watch for. On the other hand, sometimes you don't block right. <laughs> Dre's using way, a lot more 5H this game. Yeah. That jump kick was me trying to DP. Do not ask me. Wait. I Wait. I literally did jump K. I, I did jump K here and it was like, <laughs> Wait, no, that was supposed to be a DP. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Dre has basically changed his uh, neutral to revolve around 5H in particular. Yeah. Oh, the minion saved me. Twenty. I stood. I stood blocked there. I realized that you have to fucking Wait, stand. Wait, I'm. I'm stupid. Uh. This is far slash. Uh. Oh yeah. Because that's far slash. Oh, yeah, 5H that's like, five H. That's yeah, five. Yeah. So replace what I said yeah. about five H with far slash. But. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure I could have six speed that mix because it was far tipper far slash. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, that, that is... Uh, I was going to say, this is... This is the, oh, he's up there, I need to DP, interaction happens. All right, I'm doing... Wait, <laughs> that situation has passed? Response? Yeah. Can you do that? That? Huh. That was the loosest frame trap I think I've ever done. <laughs> so I want to rewind actually to, we'll like rewatch the pressure here in a second. Um, here, you said you were trying to watch for like neutral and especially approaches and stuff like that. Uh, conversion and item interactions. Um, I want to focus on the neutral here. Not because I think you did anything bad, but because it's like so open that I'm curious like what you think your thoughts were and like what you were watching for as you were doing this. Is like like you said, you generally just try and like take space. But once yeah, you get so to about this started range, with, like, uh, I was gonna say like started with like the projectile, mm -hmm. like after burst is normally something I do. 
I'm pretty sure I could have dashed through that bomb bag, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to get clipped by it, and then you're at very low health on 03 last round. So, like, yeah, yeah but play uh, conservatively but makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Here. I but think I jump because... I, I do jump block because I think he's going to, like, far slash 2p, 2h because I'm getting close. Mm -hmm. But I think 5k might have also covered jump. Uh, I it, I think it would have, like, reset you back down to the ground. Like, I don't think that, that uh, the jump is, like, a bad idea or anything. I'm just, like, there's so many options here that, especially, like, as still... Leo, I'm surprised to see jump be the option here. But also, like, false ground buttons well, so... are kind of insane, so. <laughs> it's mostly, it's, like, at this range, dash 5k gets slapped by half of his buttons. Mm -hmm. Dash block is my default, but it just loses me a little bit of chip damage, potentially, or like pushes me out again. Mm -hmm. He sits the situation. Unless he tries to like preempt an anti air, which I haven't given him a reason to do yet. Yeah. So I decide to jump because I haven't done that a whole lot. Mm -hmm. And it's not the typical Leo answer. Yeah. It's not it's not just dash block, doing dash something. Makes sense. And also, like, pressing 6p here, I think is too risky with 2h being an option. Yeah, for sure. That is definitely the sort of thing where, like, you can't, right, I I, like, you kind of have to gamble at around. this point, but, like, man, you gotta be right if you're gonna do that strategy. <laughs> you either have to, like, so double here, safety I, or double gamble. Yeah, I hear I don't actually think gambling is a great idea. I don't have oh, anything I to back it up. I don't have anything to back it up, and he doesn't have many resources besides health either, so there's no That's reason true. to gamble. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, yeah, I just don't think there's much reason to gamble there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I was just meaning, like, from the deficit you're at, you kind of, like, have to make a miracle happen, either by out-soliding them or by gambling and winning. <laughs> Which like one of these is the short term improve or the short term results answer, and the other one is probably the improvement answer. But yeah, but like like I get in, so I get fifty meters, so I can force my turn again. Mm -hmm. I get the throw. I I don't think I recognize how much damage the wall had taken there because mm -hmm. I basically get nothing here. I, I get positive bonus, but it's gonna take a while for that to matter. Mm -hmm. So because in I this, can't recklessly run at him. In this situation, then, do you think it would have been better to like you get the throw right, and if you did recognize the wall health, would you have just done like kick, kick, kick for a while, or? Yeah, basically, it's like I, I'll do like a couple of kicks slash or like stance cancel back into another tick throw or something, or stance mm -hmm. cancel into a frame trap, because. I don't necessarily. I don't want jump H to be the thing that opens him up because that will instant wall splat. Mm -hmm. Whereas every other thing I do will not do that. And because like, oh, I guess, uh, especially if you do like back turn kick into wall splat, then they just slump, huh? Slump because it doesn't. Yeah. Oh. Huh. And yeah, so it, it's like there. I think I'd rather do like delayed kick pressure into slash take plus frames if he's blocking mm -hmm. uh, and then frame trap in front front stance because if i get a counter hit in front stance it, I, I think technically it'll build me a bit more meter because i'm pressing more buttons it's a better situation if it hits mm -hmm. uh, potentially i can reset into another throw and then you... get back into the situation again you do also, it's like a risky one, but you are also like threatening the unblockable TM in the corner here. Um, I, like, I don't think it's a great option, but like as a last ditch, like, okay, I have hit him twice on the slump. Let me go for something else that won't wall break and then I can convert is like... I actually, I, I, I have the, a different opinion where I think the cross through here is actually a really good option that i think i should have done i because i don't want to get out of back turn mm -hmm. from this situation because i don't have enough health to run through neutral again yeah uh and he's getting close to a burst so mm -hmm. i'm like i i and uh so if i take the lamau i'm just going to do like one two hit combos into back turn and just loop back turn forever 
I think I can kill him before his burst comes back. Or if he does get burst, he has to risk losing burst before going into round three. True, true. So I think I think taking that and just being like, okay, I'm just going to never break the wall. I'll stay in back turn. Mm -hmm. It'll be worse because you're not cornered. But I, then I can... Well, yeah, it's just like you're in mid screen. I'm just just do back turn looping. Yeah, I guess it's well, my weak condition. What I was gonna say is like, yeah, if you like risk putting yourself in the corner, then that's like the downside. But like, you're just dead in an interaction. Well, maybe like an interaction and a half, anyways. So like, might as well yeah. put yourself in the strongest advantage for as long as you're right. Yeah, is I, I think doing all I can to not break the wall here is what wins me this round and potentially mm -hmm. the set if he decides to YOLO burst and I take it. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I am going to say just real quick, like I I am assuming you are having the God fucking damn it moment right here. Um, just charge 5D, 100%. It is going to be your most damaging wall break. Um, Unless it's like turbulence. It's, a little, it's, it's really weird because... <laughs> I don't know if that actually will connect because I had to do back turn H dance cancel. Uh, so I don't, for I'm reference, necessarily... if I, as Milia, wall splat with any normal and then do Mirage, recover, charge 5D, it works. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I, I, I think I tried to, I actually tried to super there, I think, just on default. Oh, <laughs> sure. But... Makes sense. But okay, yeah, yeah, so we are now here. You do have positive, but like you were saying, this is less advantageous. Also, here I am just trying... Okay. Okay, me. I was going to say, I should just be trying to take it as slow as possible. Take v very little risk until I get me meter. Yeah, no, like I P3. agree. P3 I think legitimately item. the meteor decided uh, this portion of this game. Because, like, good defense there, good defense. Fuck. He got 50 <laughs> meter on the meteor, or on the up crow anyway. So. But. He did same side. Or, he tried to do same side, but I dashed under him, and it hit me cross up. Okay. I thought that, oh, that's a different hammer. I thought that the hammer was actually what, like, did you in. No, okay, it was that meteor. Who was that same side? I, I literally don't know whether or not it was same side or not. I... It... <laughs> he came from above. <laughs> yeah. That is... <laughs> yeah. Because that, that... it was like, what? Uh, Mini Faust, Hammer, Afro. Yeah, Afro Guard Break, Mini Faust. Yeah, he just got, he got too many good items in a row. Yeah. RNG'd me out there. Okay, though. Uh, we didn't really do much on the actual writing notes bit, but, like, I think that's fine overall. We chatted over stuff. Uh, what do you think some of the big takeaways are from it, though? Uh, would you like to write them, or would you like me to? <laughs> I can write that because I'm thinking. I'm thinking. My hands are occupied with holding my massive brain. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think... I recognized situations too slowly against Faust, so I, like, lost too many neutral interactions, which put me on the back foot, and I was dealing with Faust when he had meter, which is really bad. Uh, I am going to interject real quick. Gee, I still cannot believe he had to block that DP. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I did. Uh, what do you think it was that was making you not... Uh... <laughs> We see, it was, I was really tired that day, actually. Okay, fair. <laughs> I, I was going to say, do you think it was, like, a thing from that day? Because, yeah, I forgot that, that this was the day that Tyler did not sleep. So, <laughs> sleepy monkey yeah. DP. Um, but I was going to yeah. say, is it that? Or is it that, like, your game plan didn't account for the options he was picking? So you didn't know what to look for in the first place? But, yeah, like, this week in particular, I will definitely accept, I don't know tired <laughs> it, well it was like i was autopiloting a lot of neutral which just so happened to coincide with he was beating it and i wasn't i wasn't changing my game plan really and i i really let go of too yeah 
I, I like, let go of too many spots where H here just kills, I could have gotten right? a kill. H kills, but I was going for a tick throw. Oh, and right, he got right, hit okay. something. But I, I saw that like three times across the set, and I did not adjust to him jump doing jump outs. Okay. Even though I did the fucking stagger timing that catches jump out, <laughs> and not and I like, I did the stagger timing when I should have done the non frame trap one so I could tick throw, mm -hmm. but I, I just chose the wrong mix up f with the buttons to lead up to it. Gotcha. I think. Yeah. I think also recognizing what my win condition is. Yeah, there's also a bunch of like a spaghetti shit like that where I'm like, I'm not sure what to do here. I hit ju I hit back turn D to dodge the weight, and I'm like, okay, what the fuck do I do now? <laughs> mm -hmm. So like, yeah, there's a lot of weird scenarios I hadn't seen before. And I'm I think I'm also really was too scared of new mini Faust, even though he is really good. Mm -hmm. But it's like really good. Yeah, fucking four hammers, Jesus Christ, <laughs> the wall. That was the one, huh? Yeah, yep, all four. Yeah. Also, I like how you just decided to limbo it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I dashed forward, and I was like, I am not blocking these hammers, so I just did... Or, so I, can turp, uh, I am legitimately surprised that this didn't just hit him on the PRC. Uh, I'm not that surprised. That, there's not a ton of active frames on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I, I think I really forgot what my win condition was, which is just don't fucking leave back turn. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, yeah. I think I think if I don't, like, try to loop into back turn, you fucking idiot monkey. Just, just keep doing that, you'll win. It's easy. <laughs> All right. Have anything else to add to the end of this one? Don't pull good items against me, Dre. <laughs> it's really annoying when you get them. Dude, he had some real clutch ones, honestly. I I think that part of it is also, like, because, you know, he's not in, or you're not in back turn doing pressure as much, so you're also having to deal with the items more because, you know, he gets to throw them more. So it's the whole thing of, like, why do the good Fosts get the good items that's so broken? It's because they throw three times as many. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Did I just air throw whiff? I was actually curious about that myself, because he whiffs a throw here. DRC. He whiffs a throw. <laughs> so I think you I. just... Did you with a No, throw? that was an air throw. That oh. is an air throw. Okay. <laughs> and then he just does a second. And I don't second. get punished? He just does a second what? throw. Yeah, I don't... I guess you probably uh, could anyway. have done something there, but you weren't holding literally straight up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway. All right. Think we call it there? Anything final? Because I don't really have too much else. Yeah. Nothing for me either. All right.